The following video is to show the best method of obtaining blood samples for monitoring of your child's fee levels. The key to a successful blood spot is preparation. Make sure you have your lancets, stabbers, needles, whatever you want to call them ready. The blood spot card is labelled, the clear envelope it goes into, a self-addressed stamped envelope, alka wipe, cotton wool and plaster if needed and sharps bin. Use the stickers that the hospital have provided for you on the card. Make sure the stickers have the correct name and date of birth of your child on them. Make sure that the blood spot card is in date and valid to use. The expiry date is on the end of the card. If you run out of stickers then handwrite on the name, date of birth, date of sample, PKU and let the specialist nurses know that you require more labels. Make sure your child's foot is warm. This can be by putting their foot into extra socks or blankets around them. However, do not apply anything hot to their foot as this may cause scalding. Once all of these things are ready, you need to wash your hands. When taking blood from a baby's heel, have a safe but firm hold of the baby and hold the heel like so. Have the leg and the foot facing down so gravity can help with the flow of blood. We will now show you how to take blood from a finger, not a heel, but the actions remain the same. Clean the heel with an alcohol wipe. Allow the heel to dry, then get the lancet and press into the heel. Blood may appear straight away, however if not, gently massage, but don't squeeze the heel until the blood appears. Do not press the foot onto the card. Let the blood form into a drop and then let it fall onto the card. Let two drops of blood fall into different circles on the card. If any blood droplets overlap or do not fill the circle, then do another spot. Blood spots should fill the circle but should not be double spotted. Samples are commonly rejected because the spots are too small. Once you have taken the sample, place cotton wool and a plaster if necessary onto the area where blood was taken from. Dispose of the lancet into the sharps bin. When your sharps bin is full, you can contact the specialist nursing team or your local GP or pharmacy for a new sharps bin. Write the date and time on the blood spot card and then place it into the sheer envelope. Place the spot end of the blood card into the sheer envelope, not the other way around. This then goes into the self-addressed envelope to be posted. Please ensure you have a first class stamp on the envelope so that it can reach our laboratory in a timely fashion. Please remember to contact the hospital at least two weeks before you run out of blood taking equipment so we can send more out to you. You will find a request form inside your delivery with your supplies. You then return this back with your sample or you can contact the team on the email or phone number included on the request form. Let us know if you have any problems with obtaining blood samples.